guys in this video we are going to be looking at the topic probability where we are going to concentrate more on the discrete random variable so we are going to be solving a further maths um, paper theory equation that's specifically june 2018 all right so the equation is displayed to you it reads a random variable y has probability function p defined by p of y equal to you have y squared on k for y equal to 1 2 and 3 y minus 7 all squared on k for y equals to 4 5 and 6 and 0 otherwise find roman 1 the value of the constant k roman 2 the mean and the variance of y roman 3 the variance of r where r is equal to 2y minus 3 all right so we are going to begin with the first part where we are going to be finding the value of the constant k now we are we are told that um our random variable is um that's the, they, they, they gave us a probability um, function of my random variable and clearly we can see that it is a discrete random variable why because the values of y are occurring in packs meaning y equal to um, 1 2 3 if it was continuous then we are going to be dealing with intervals but since it is um, y 1 2 3 4 5 6 it means y occurs in discrete values let me put it that way so our y is a discrete random variable and since y is a discrete random variable then the summation of all the probabilities from y equal to 1 right up to the last value of y of my probability function is equal to 1 now summing that um, first of all we create our table where we have the values of y 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now probability of uh, that's p of y equal to y uh, when y is equal to 1 we have, we fit 1 here we have 1 squared on k when it is 2, we still fit 2 here, you have 4, 2 squared on k, which is 4 on k. If it is 3, we fit 3 here, you have um, 3 squared on k, which is 9 on k. Now, when y is 4, you go to the next function. So, you have 4 minus 7, which is negative 3, all squared, which is 9, all divided by k. When it is 5, you are still with this function here. You have 5 minus 7, which is 2, which is negative 2, all squared, it gives us 4 on k and uh, when it is 6 you have 6 minus 7 negative 1 all squared 1 divided by k now we need to sum the probability of p of y equal to y and we equate to 1 because our y is a discrete random variable so um the summation of that equal to 1 means we have 1 on k plus 4 on k plus 9 on k plus 9 on k plus 4 on k plus 1 on k equal to 1 since we have the same common denominator we just sum the numerator summing that we get 28 then divided by their common denominator which is k equal to 1 so we can cross multiply and we get the value of k to be 28 now woman 2 is asking us to get the mean and the variance of our random variable y how do we get the mean of a random variable e of y or mu is equal to the summation from the first value of y to the last value of y of y times p of y equal to y so what we are going to do is that we are going to take the first value of y we multiply it with its probability plus the second value of y you multiply it with its probability and so on so doing that that's taking one times one on k plus two times four on k plus three times nine on k plus four times nine on k plus five times four on k plus six times one on k that gives us the mean but we have the value of k as 28 if you fit and substitute correctly you're going to get your mean to be seven divided by two now the second part of that very woman so we now need to find the variance and this is how we find the variance e of y squared minus e of y all squared where e of y is a mean and e of y is is, is also we can also term it mu all right so e of y all squared means that um, we are just summing the squares of the the values of y times the probability for that value then e of y all that squared is simply taking the mean squared all right so we get we have to find the sum from the first value of y to the last value of y of y squared of y squared times the various probabilities and how do we find it we square the first value of y you multiply by its probability we square the second just like that so you have one squared times its probability plus two squared times its probability plus three squared times its probability plus four squared times its probability for plus five squared times its probability and plus six squared times its probability having k as 28 you fit and you simplify you're going to get e of y squared to be 27 divided by 2 now we come back and replace here so our variance will give us 27 on 2 minus our mean all squared which is 7 on 2 all squared if you simplify correctly you're going to get the variance to be 5 divided by 4 the last part of the equation is asking us to find the variance of r where r is equal to 2y 
minus 3. So we need to recall that the, 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 the variance of a y minus b is just a squared times the variance of y, the properties of variance. So with that, we have the variance of 2y minus 3 to be 2 squared times the variance of y. But in the previous question, we found the variance of y already, which is 5 on 4, and 2 squared is 4. So it means the variance of um, 2y minus 3 is just equal to 5 because the 4 cancels. Alright, so if you love the video, make sure you like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.